Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Prison Architect version 1.0, newly released just today, and I am loving me this new escape mode uh, in which you play as an inmate and attempt to escape one of your own prisons. Now this is something that's been requested for a really long time and it's something that I am really happy to see because I didn't think it was going to happen. And I was so happy when they announced it. Uh, let's see, let's get off the bus now. Shuplin, Suarez, Knight. Jerome, and me! I am Bennett. Howdy, boys. And now let's uh, fast forward time. I'm really glad you can fast forward time because this would get a little tedious otherwise. Uh, I'm going to throw up a link right now. Uh, I previously played... Or did I play Hard Time? No, no, I did not play Hard Time. What I played was the U Testament. Hmm, that's, a, that's another game I... Uh, no, I won't play. I don't, I don't want to play Hard Time. Okay, we are through reception, and now we are going to be taken to our cell. Oh, sounds like something's going on out there. Uh, we're going to be taken to our cell because we are a medium security inmate. Uh, I think by default it starts you off as medium security. Uh, so here's us being delivered to our cell. Now, uh, some people could try and uh, tunnel their way out. However, on this prison, I've actually made it very difficult to do that. Um, because you're always pretty far from the edges. Uh, and I don't think I want to take that time. Not in a video like this. That'd be boring. So, let me just sleep, and we will get to my primary method of escape. Alright, uh, like I said, I've already done a couple of runs um, on different prisons, so I know that one of the most effective things you can do is use fire in your escapes. So, hang on. Where do I go? Right here. Yep, don't mind me. Thank you. Got me a lighter. Uh, I don't know if lighters set the metal detectors off. I don't know if they do or not. Uh, and usually what I like to do uh, is head over to this way. Actually, I need to go back to where I just came from. Derp. Go to this canteen. There are a lot of guards here. So as I was saying, we're going to go to the other cafeteria. Try and figure out what we're doing. Okay, here we are in the other canteen. There's only one guard here. Let's just make our way to this here corner. And... Doop, doop, doop! Don't taste me, bro! Don't taste me, bro! Oh. Skip punishment. Uh, you can use reputation points to skip your punishment. And I'm gonna actually watch this fire from the other side of the wall, where it's safe. Come on, burn, baby burn. Those lines are the fire department incoming. And will that do anything for us? No. No. That is unfortunate. What I was hoping to do was uh, have the bottom, like, or uh, not bottom, underneath the uh, utilities. That's right, utilities level. Uh, it can actually burn through the utilities level, and by doing that, you can actually cause flooding and knock power out to the rest of the prison, which is pretty useful when you're trying to escape, because for some reason they don't seem to repair fire damage. Hopefully that'll be added in a later patch. Uh, but as it stands, you can start a fire, and if it does enough damage, the prison is just screwed forever. I actually need to build up some... I would like to build up my reputation points, which you get by basically walking around and being a psychopath. Um, I would like to do that, because um, if you do that, if you get a lot of reputation points, you can use it to go down here and upgrade yourself. And you can give yourself different traits that prisoners would normally have, and what that does is allows you to become a legendary prisoner and recruit your own gang. I might try that later on, actually. Uh, I'll recruit a gang and basically just take over the prison as a gang. Uh, well, something that's likely to be high fatality. Church might. Okay, no, yeah, I'm going to burn down the church, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until... Uh, I'm going to wait until work, because that's when people go to do the reform program at church. And in the meantime, I'm going to stop by this here cleaning cupboard and pick me up a club to be used as a weapon in the event that I need it. As you can see here, they don't really seem to fix uh, any damage caused by fires. I mean, workers will come and repair damaged objects like these tables and benches, but you see there's damage to the structure itself, and I don't think they'll ever fix that. See, it's uh, burned through into this cell right here. I don't think they're going to fix that. Actually, I think there's enough people in here that this might be worth a shot. Uh, let's light this, light this. Let me out, and light this door, light this door, light the door. Run, 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 run. I want that to burn. Burn, baby, burn. 
And you're probably gonna... Yeah. Okay, I don't think time properly passes uh, when you skip your punishment. Uh, yeah, because I can hear the uh, fire engines showing up now. I'm gonna try and get down there and survey the level of damage I did. Uh, not before I grab another lighter. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you guys better pray. Not a good that's doing you so far. Unfortunately, though, they do have the um, survival instinct to keep away from the fire, so they might not die. And I'm worried, because if they die, I think I actually... Whoa, that's loud. That's very loud. Uh, if they die, I think I get reputation points for that. I think. Nah. Seems all I've really succeeded in doing is causing a lot of damage to the structure, but they're going to repair all this. I don't think this really aids much in my escape. Hmm. I'll have to work out a different plan. Now that I look at it, uh, Visitation is a pretty large room uh, with objects spilling up from wall to wall. I might actually be able to start a fire in there and then run out if the wall collapses before the guards get to me. The only problem with that is I want to do that after I have already um, gotten the quick skill, because I don't want to run out there and then just get caught outside, you know? Because there's, um... well, I'll show you what I mean. So, like, if I decided to run out, right, the path of, re of least resistance would be to go south, uh, which would mean I would have to end up at the second delivery bay, which is at the end of this, and there's likely to be some guards there. So, uh, they won't really be able to catch me as long as I can sprint. Uh, but that is why I need to have some reputation points built up so I can get the quick skill. Actually, I will just grab a club right here. One of the best ways and easiest ways is to just kill a random inmate. Uh, I'm actually not sure if you get more reputation for killing uh, maximum security than low, or if staff gets you more. Uh, let's pick somebody that'll deserve it. That gang member looks pretty promising. Uh, and they seem to be from different gangs, so they won't both attack me at once. Watcha! Bang, bang, come on, die, die. Yeah, taste him, moron. Ugh. Not good enough. I'm only gonna get the one reputation point, and I have to use that to skip the punishment, because I set ridiculously long punishments in this save. Hey, dude, I'm up for parole for good behavior. Come on, you can trust me? It's me, Bennett. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Guard, can you let me into the lawyer's office? I really am interested in learning, uh, you know, more about the legal field. Uh, it's part of my rehabilitation. Thanks. It's just you and me now. Ah! Okay, I'm going to try that again, but this time I'm going with a slightly different plan. Apparently that lawyer is not at all nervous around me, so I'm just going to follow him right in. Uh, interestingly enough, apparently I had the presence of mind to set that storage space to staff only, but not the lawyer's office, which is interesting. <sighs> yep, part of my rehabilitation. You can trust me. So, situations we find ourselves in, huh? Mainly because the AI uh, does not have much of a memory. Anyway, light it on fire! Burn it all! Burn it all! Yeah, you just get punched right in the face. Yeah, nobody can help you now. Nobody likes a lawyer! Actually, uh, let's just burn down the rest of parole while we're at it. Yep, da doop da do. Don't mind me, not a whole ton you can do about me at this present moment. By the way, you should probably be running. And now you're trapped. Come think of it, I'm trapped too. So, uh, why don't you knock me unconscious? Come on. No, dude. Dude, come on. You can help each other out. Just knock me unconscious. That's all you need to do. Please, before the flames overtake us all. I know you want to get out of here, but come on. Just knock me out. All you got to do is knock me out, and we can both get out of this. Well, I can get out of this, but that's what I'm telling you. Doors open. Let's go. Oh, uh, just for good measure. That's punchy right now. Oh. And we are fine. I feel like a GTA protagonist just walking out of the hospital nonchalantly, only seconds after causing a mass shooting. 
Anyway, let's go down there and check our handiwork. We also did get some reputation points left over, so uh, we'll be able to upgrade our character now. Yep. Actually! Actually! Hang on! Excuse me. Uh, let's just uh, become a skilled runner while we're at it. <laughs> See you, suckers! That was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. Goodbye! Doop -doop -doop -doop. Hey, Brev. Yeah, you ain't doing nothing to me. No! What happened? Did I just surrender? Did I seriously just surrender? I love how after all this, I'm still considered medium security. Like, apparently killing the lawyer was not enough to get me bumped up to max sec. Maybe the fire killed him, and that's why it doesn't count? I don't know. Anyway, they never fix fire damage, so I'm just gonna go get out that way. They're actually gonna open the door for me. Oh no, I guess it's permanently open. Is there anything else I can... Uh, if I'm tough, then I can sometimes avoid taser shots, so that'll give me a little bit of an edge on my way out. And uh, this time, maybe we could... Can you actually just leave from that? Did that never occur to I am not a smart man. Alright. Looks like we've escaped. I uh, did it solo. And the lawyer was my one victim. I was in the prison for 11 hours, which I think is about 6 months in game time. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, check out my other videos. I did a uh, Let's Play on Prison Architect earlier, which I will link in the description. And I will see you later.